The AJC Queen Elizabeth Stakes is next, I presume that stands for Australian Jockey Club. Ten Furlongs, Group 1, Catch Me White Boy at the top. Derek Hinton, Golden 60, Dan Hughes, Grand Forks, Great, Winnie Gerard, It's Passion, Not Profit, Leon Van Rensburg, Pathmaster, Joshua Sutherland, Ridge of Silence, Jim Murray, Tallahassee Typhoon, Paul Rose, Devil's Lake, Tantrum, Vinnie Gerard, Foreign Trade, Leon Van Rensburg, Mongoose Shop, Darren Thompson, Niggle Harriet, James Shea, Valento Rider, Dan Hughes, Brown Thomas, Paul Rhodes and Morning Ice Hero for Munas. They're all installed and ready to go. And away they go. And Morning Ice Hero. Looks like it's going to be trying to get across to the fence and get the lead and has done. From Pathmaster and Mongoose Shop. Well, they've both been driven up to challenge. Mongoose Shop just short of room there. It's now gone on and it's taken the lead. So Mongoose Shop obviously wants to lead. And he's about half a length up on Pathmaster on his outside and Morning Ice here on the inside rail. They're about four lengths clear of Ridge of Silence from Jim Murray and it's passion not profit in the gold cap down on the rail with Brown Thomas and Golden 60 between them and the first of the three greys right on the far side is Devil Lake Tantrum in comes Tallahassee Typhoon Foreign Trade is next Catch Me White Boy is the second of the greys and the third of them is Valento Rider Niggle Harriet is the current back mark of a James Shea but it's Mongoose Shop who's in the lead, leading by the best part of two lengths to Morning Ice Hero in second, Pathmaster is in third, pretty tightly grouped in behind, the one that's making really good progress there is Golden 60, that's just cutting through the pack nicely into second, and is now coming through to challenge for the lead, they're racing down towards the final three furlongs in this, then a Mongoose Shop is in the lead from Golden 60 and Pathmaster, here come the Leon Van Rensburg pair, it's Passion Not Profit and Foreign Trade, Golden 60 responds, also trying to run on his Brown Thomas, Morning Ice Hero taking off its feet, has dropped out of it, Catch Me White Boy and Devil's Lake Tantrum are trying to get into it, there's a furlong and a half to go and Pathmaster's hit the front, Pathmaster then from his Passion Not Profit in second, then down on this near side Mongoose Shop, but it's Pathmaster who's shot clear, is this going to be another great Grade one for Joshua Sutherland. He's absolutely flying. Jockey has a look around. He's well clear, but they're really closing on him now. He needs a line to come. The jockey celebrating a bit early. Oh, that was a risky manoeuvre. And I would bet you that Joshua Sutherland was screaming at his TV or his laptop or whatever he watches these races on. And his jockey started celebrating that far out as Niggle Harriet was absolutely flying up the centre of the track. Pathmaster takes it. For Joshua Sutherland, Niggle Harriet for James Shea, second, Ridge of Silence, Jim Murray was third, Valento Ryder for Dan Hughes was fourth, and Morning Ice Hero for Munas was fifth. Is it too early in the season to start asking when was the last time anybody won the jumps and the flat in the same season? <laughs> 